Welcome to another episode of Content Marketing Stripped. This is a show to help you plan, create and promote content to help you market your business. And here we like to focus on the basics. So it's about getting a real solid understanding of your audience, knowing the key benefits of your product and then understanding how to take that information and create compelling content that your customer actually wants to read. It's about creative and strategic content marketing, not crazy content marketing. We really want to encourage more people to buy these carrots. So we've had some great ideas about publishing some great recipes and information about the key benefits of the carrots, such as, you know, they're great at preventing heart disease, they're a healthy snack, easy to, easy to cook and work with, and also some interesting facts, like they're a natural antiseptic, and uh, we've just got a ton of great ideas that we think will work really, really well on the blog. Or we can take all those great ideas and we can synergize it globalistically in a song. Get your sexy carrots, everybody's eating them. They're antiseptic, don't be skeptical. They heal your heart and be a nighttime optical aid. I hate my job. As a business, you want to create content that your customers actually want to read. But before you can do that, you need to know who it is that you want to attract, which is why today's episode is all about the customer profile. These are also known as pen portraits or customer personas. Generally speaking, it's an outline of the characteristics of your customer. It might include their age, their location, it might include their job, their background and some of their interests. Depending on your business and depending on your content marketing strategy, it could be something as simple as a one-page outline document or it could be an in-depth report that covers several personas of people that you want to attract. Now, before you create any content for your marketing, it's a good idea to look at your customer profile just to remind yourself of their needs and interests. Because when you live and breathe your business and you sit down to write a blog post, it might be that your business is foremost in your mind rather than your customer. And you see your marketing content is really like having a conversation with a prospective customer. And just as in social situations, you're always a lot more persuasive when you can really focus your attention on the person you want to attract the most. So what brings you to the conference? Me, I had a talk that was accepted, which was really funny because a lot of people didn't have their talks accepted. Um, I don't know if you saw it earlier, it was amazing. Um, it was called, ah, the title was so funny, it was called 73 Ways to Be More Sociable in the Event of a Zombie Apocalypse Online. And they must have loved it because obviously they picked it and made me talk. And it was really funny because I got up on stage and I was like, okay, just be gentle with me because I've never spoken on stage before. Did my talk, they loved it. They stood up at the end clapping. Is that called an ovation? Is it a standing ovation where they stand up and clap at the end? It was so funny. And I left the stage and the conference director comes over to me and I think he part owns the internet as well. And he says, were you just kidding about that? That wasn't really your first time. And I said, that was my first time on stage. And he said, shit off. You are amazing. You should be running this conference. I said, I know. Sorry, what was your question? Now, when you have a really clear customer profile that highlights their needs and their interests, you can start to create some very compelling and effective content. In fact, your customer profile will pretty much influence every decision that you make in your content marketing, such as what channels you choose to use, how often you publish your content, and even down to the topics that you choose to cover. For example, Let's say that you wanted to try and promote carrots to mums. Get your sexy carrots. So you look at your customer profile and you see that your mums are particularly interested in time-saving tips and good nutrition. So you create some recipes um, which are simple, easy to use, really healthy, all about carrot-based meals. Now that's gonna be interesting to that particular audience, but your content topics would probably be a little bit different if, say, you were trying to sell the same carrots to an Edwardian aristocrat. Good day to you. In which case, based on your knowledge about their privileged background, you might decide to publish a pamphlet saying how only the most noble houses in the country serve deliciously rich carrot cake as the perfect accompaniment to an afternoon of croquet, cucumber sandwiches and quail's eggs. So you can see how knowing bits of information about your customer profile can really change the direction that you take in your content marketing. So how do you start piecing together this information for your own customer profile? Well, the sheet that you can download on my site should help, but there's three main areas um, that you want to start thinking about. 
One, specifically, who is it that you want to try and target? Who is your target customer? Two, what is their problem? And also what questions do they have about solving that problem? And three, what's their motivation for trying to solve that problem? As I mentioned, the sheet's gonna help you start plotting these answers together. So go, download that. Next week, we'll be looking at how you take that information and start actually creating content for your marketing. So share this video with your friends, subscribe if you want to know when the next video is up. Until next time, keep believing.